peace and positivity family okay i needed to uh put this out here because i just feel like somebody need to hear it um things just come to me and and i gotta talk about it i gotta speak about it and i just finished my workout um hope you woke up feeling grateful and thankful as you should y'all already know the motto um this is not going to be a long video, okay? You think you need people to live out your dreams? You think you need a squad behind you or some cheerleaders to cheer you on, to go after your dreams or to fulfill those goals you have in life? See, I was that girl. I was like... Damn, I need some support behind me to fulfill my dreams, to keep going, to be consistent. I need, I need. See, that's the thing. We always talking about how we need and what we want. But at the end of the day, you have to fulfill your dreams and go after your goals, no matter who's behind you, right? You got people out here who are successful and they didn't have not one person behind them, but they made that leap of faith. They made that jump and they said, listen, I'm going to do this with or without y'all. That goes for family, friends, significant others, whoever. Okay. I got to take my glasses off so y'all can really, y'all can really hear what I'm saying because this is the thing. We look for satisfaction in other people. We look for pats on the back from other people instead of patting ourselves on the back and telling and being our own cheerleader and saying, you know what? You could do it. Tell yourself you could do it. You don't need nobody else to tell you you could do it. I'm going to tell you all this. I started my YouTube channel and and I didn't get a lot of support. Not saying that people are not supporting me because they don't really want to, but a lot of times, you know, people busy, people got their own thing going on, and the crazy thing is strangers will support you faster than the closest people around you. Not all, but some, and maybe most. Now... I told myself, I'm going to be consistent with my channel. I'm going to speak to whoever needs to be spoken to, who needs to hear this, who, you know, who, who wants to just listen to what I have to say, because I speak from the heart. I speak from experience and I just love motivating people and being an inspiration to people, letting people know that you could do whatever you put your mind to. You do not have to be this big uh social media inf influencer you don't have to have a thousand followers or a million followers i'm grateful for one person watching my video i'm grateful for that one message that i get saying wow thank you for you know that message in your video you know i had to tell myself okay Keisha, because you're not getting a lot of views or because you don't have a, a big following on social media doesn't mean that you cannot fulfill your dreams or still live out your dreams or still put or still speak the words out into the existence of what you feel in your heart because at the end of the day people are going to gravitate to what they feel here right so if you want to write a book write a book you don't need people telling you yeah write that book write that just write it put it out if you want to be an artist in any type of way, but you feel like you don't have the support, be that artist. You're your biggest supporter at the end of the day. You're all you have because we're not going, we're not going to leave this body with other people beside us. We're going to leave this body by ourselves. So you have to do what you have to do to live out your dreams to live out your aspirations and not worrying about having a big crowd behind you 
cheering cheering you on. You're not a basketball team. You do not need cheerleaders. This is not football. This is not none of those teams or sports where you need a cheerleaders. Where you need some cheerleaders behind you. Go, go, yeah, yeah, go, no. What? Go, go, no, oh. I don't need all that. I had to tell myself that because I always seek validation from others. I kind of was doing things for other people likes, not for my own like. I even stopped doing YouTube because I felt like, okay, well, nobody's watching it. Nobody cares. So let me just not do it no more, but I care. This is why I'm consistent on here now because I have to tell myself, you matter. It doesn't matter what other people think, right? I have to live this life. I have to be comfortable in my skin. I have to be comfortable with what I'm doing and the path that I am on. This is my purpose. And I found that out because I didn't have so many people tell me, Keisha, you should be a motivational speaker. I even had my doctor tell me this. Now, when my doctor told me this, I said, dang, doc, maybe you're right. Because I lost hope. A few months ago, I was hopeless, depressed, didn't, have, didn't feel like I had a purpose, didn't really care. And then I woke up and said, girl, you the bomb.com. You have so much to offer. So continue to inspire those who are inspired by you. Continue to put out those videos because those videos will help somebody, whether it's one person, it doesn't matter, right? Stay consistent. And don't worry about having a team behind you because your tribe, your vibes attract your tribe. So people will come to you genuine, genuinely from the heart and follow you. See, I'd rather that than have people follow me because of Instagram fame or Snapchat fame or TikTok fame. I want people to follow me because they want to and it's from the heart. So remember that. You don't need nobody behind you to fulfill your dreams. You could do whatever you put your mind to and continue to work hard, be consistent. And eventually the universe will reward you. You just got to put in that work, right? Abundance is right around the corner. So I just needed to tell y'all that. I hope this resonates with you guys. Remember, love is key. Love is you. Love is me. And I love you guys. Um, stay with love in your heart because you will win at the end of the day. Okay? I love you. Peace.